Ephesians chapter 6. Honored thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, that thou mayest live long on the earth. I'm doing this one today because it's when I preach on the streets, I deal with three basic sins to try to get people to realize they're a sinner. When the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, I met a gentleman one time a few years back, and the first guy I ever met that he never sinned. And we went back and forth, went back and forth. And this is one of the places in the Bible that I, I took him to. Now, we've all told a lie. Thou shalt not bear false witness. We've all taken something that's not ours. Thou shalt not steal. Now, this is one of the, <clears throat> another of the Ten Commandments. Honor thy father and mother. And if the Bible says for a man to look upon a woman to lust after her in his heart, has already committed adultery with her. Now listen, there have been times growing up, and maybe you're that perfect sinless child that, that I titled as No Sinless Children. But after I got a whooping, after I was told, no, you can't, after I was told something that went against what I wanted, <clears throat> because my parents loved me, I would have thoughts evil thoughts. Oh, I wish God would get him. Or I got such mean parents. Or I wish I belonged to them. You know, that kid over there, look at his family. They take him here and they take him here and, and he got a brand new bike. I wish I had a family like that. Well, maybe you never have. Listen, there's been only one perfect child ever on this planet. And that was Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ never went to the terrible twos. But we have, haven't we? Have we ever, whatever it be, ever had mom and dad say, don't touch that? It's for the party. It's for this. You can't have a cookie now. And we went and had it. I remember one time, I believe it was my aunt's wedding. My mom made the wedding cake for my aunt. And I remember, you know, put, don't put your fingers in the icing. And I did. The, the, night, the night before the wedding, I went and put, put my fingers in the icing. You had to turn the cake around. The day of the wedding. Have we been that perfect child? All the time. Because if we were not that perfect child, we, we acted and disobeyed against them. We had evil thoughts against them. We even maybe ran away. I never ran away, but maybe you did. Maybe we spoke ill of them. Maybe there was a time that we, were, we should have called them, and we didn't. Maybe there's somewhere in our life that we lacked against our mother and father. Now, my dad just died and probably died lost and is probably in hell today. I honored my dad by <clears throat> 33 and a half years witnessing to him. I was saved April 25th, April 26, 1987. My dad was the first person I told about hell and heaven and salvation Jesus. And I kept at it, kept at it, kept at it, gospel tracks, telling whatever I could. I tried with my mom. And in 2009, 2010, my mom got saved. Glory to God. But here's a basic sin. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy mother and father. Has mom or dad ever told you, do this, clean your room? And you didn't? Have you ever been told not to do something? <clears throat> and you did it? I 
I mean, that's not honoring your parents. That's not giving re respect to them. If you illfully spoke against them to others, if you shamed them in public, that's not honoring your father and mother. And somewhere, somehow, and I, I can make a broad list of a million things that children can do to dishonor their parents. And like I said, I dealt with a man one time, and he never sinned. Fred, we sinned. And one of the three basic sins, besides number four, the big one, honor God all the time, every time, the first time, which we all never can do. But there have been times we grew up and we dishonored our parents, our father and our mother, or both. <clears throat> Now, all that on April 25th, 1987, that was all put under the blood. I don't need to confess that. And there have been some terrible things. If my mom has any gray hair, it's because of me. I thank God my mom is saved. My dad, well, I tried witnessing to him. I gave it the best shot, gave it the best. Can't do anything about it now. But when I deal with people, I don't do the Romans road. I deal with them as a sinner. <coughs> All have sinned. Alright. So I look at the three basic sins. And then the fourth, you know, we don't we don't honor God. Like we should. But like I said, we've all taken something that doesn't belong to us. Maybe that'd be one of these little quick things. We've all lied and we've lied to our parents. Did you do your homework? Yeah. And you didn't. How many times I grew up, I, we always had a dog in my household. And I don't know how many times the dog broke the lamp. The dog went in the refrigerator and took the cookie. How he did that, I don't know. The dog made the mess on the floor. <laughs> That's lying. That is an outright lie. We lied against our parents. We we, we stole against our parents. Did you ever steal against your parents? That's not honoring them. We did not treat our parents correctly. How many times as a baby, after we were brought home from the hospital, when mom needed a good night's sleep at 2 o'clock in the morning, we just decided to start crying and our diaper wasn't full and we weren't hungry. We just wanted to cry to get mom's attention. You're not going to hold me to that. Yes, I am going to hold that to you. You were thinking of yourself. You didn't think, gee, mom has had a hard time. Mom, mom you know, gave birth to me. Mom just brought me home. Mom needs, ah, ah, ah. Thinking of yourself is a sin. Sure weren't thinking of your mom. You know, there are great times, and I remember great times with my mom. I do something or I bring something home from school. And she was just so pleased. And they're thinking, I remember one year, and I went garbage hunting, and I found things. And I wrapped them up for Christmas. Yeah, a long time ago, I was a child. And it's funny, uh, we can we take a little extra. I don't know why, I found my dad an eight ball, a, a billiard eight ball, and I wrapped it up for Christmas. And I gave them to him one year. So many years later, I'm a teenager now, and I'm down in the basement, and we've moved. We've moved from our original place. Where the, and I was down in the basement one day, and I was doing some kind of project and all that, trying to find the tools and trying to find stuff to do. And I've gone through the stuff, and in, in this thing over here was an eight ball. 
My dad kept that eight ball, and it was amongst his tools and stuff that you find in a workbench. There are things I've done that please my mom and dad. That's my son. But I guarantee there are more times that we displeased our parents. There are more times that, that you know what, I can't, I can't speak good of my son on that point. He didn't do good. And that's where we sinned. All have sinned <coughs> and come short of the glory of God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You ever meet such a person? I never sinned. Well, you mean you were the perfect little boy or girl, whoever you're talking to. You were right up against the best child, Jesus Christ. I don't think so. Because there's only one sinless one. There's only one holy human that is God and God that was human. And that's Jesus Christ. You're not Jesus Christ. You're not holy and you're not God. You sinned against your parents. That's a sin. 